Hey folks, as you saw in the morning show, we had twin X-class solar flares erupt from the northern sunspots. They caused a significant ionospheric ionization and excited the Earth's magnetic field. The ionospheric excitement also amplified the global electric circuit throughout the atmosphere, and the big question a lot of you are asking is whether these solar flares were responsible for the major network outages today, which began right after the second flare event. Now, the NOAA Space Weather Prediction Center, the official government arm in charge of solar activity monitoring, has said that the solar flares are unlikely to be the cause of the widespread cellular network outages. I am not sure on what they base this statement of it being unlikely. And of course, as information developed, turns out it was much more than just cellular networks. Banks, internet, Google, cable, Starlink, social media, Microsoft, DoorDash, Amazon, Gmail, and many more began having serious issues at the same time. These networks are not connected to one another in such a way that we can easily blame anything else, including hacking. This broader scope makes Noah's claim of unlikely more and more unlikely to be accurate. Last night's video was about how the solar impact on the atmosphere is becoming amplified as Earth's magnetic field weakens. We have previously gone over how this also applies to the physiological impacts, especially on the cardiac system, and on the psychological, emotional elements. And while it's been a while since we covered the technological aspect, it of course applies here too. Not only does the widespread outage of networks scream space weather impact, but technology is becoming more and more vulnerable every day that the magnetic field weakens and the magnetic poles shift. If it was hacking, it was a hacking effort on a scale never before seen on Earth, and they timed it to be right when the solar blasts occurred. There can be no certainty either way at this moment, but I do have to say the best and most reasonable explanation at this time is that the ionospheric and global electric circuit impact from the back-to-back X-class solar flares triggered these disruptions of the communication and infrastructure networks. I'll see you in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.